Hey everyone, it's Bargain Princess! <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do the beauty scenario tag, been seeing it go around, wanted to do it, it looks fun, nobody tagged me, but oh well! <laughs> so this tag is actually made up of eight questions, I think it's fun, I want you guys to play along as well, so comment all your answers in the comment section down below, so let's go! Question number one, you have to get rid of all your foundations and you can only keep one high end in one drugstore. Which do you keep? So the high end is pretty easy because I've been obsessed with my Urban Decay Naked Foundation. I have it on today. I love it. It's so lightweight. It's natural. I think it was like $39. It's kind of pricey, but it's worth it. I mean, hello. <laughs> and then as far as drugstore, that's kind of a tough one. I really, really love the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous, Flawless, whatever. It's like such a long name. But that foundation is amazing. You can use it as a concealer. And I am a humongous greaseball, as many of you guys already know. And it lasts all day. So hands down, CoverGirl 3-in-1 amazing. Question number two. You go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Oh no! <laughs> Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? Oh, uh, I mean, if you want the job, then I think the best answer would be... <laughs> Actually, it depends on the, the person, just because I was recently in a grocery store, this old lady was in front of me, it, she kind of had, like, seemed a little standoffish, but I noticed that she had this reddish pink lipstick on her teeth, and I really wanted to, I was so close, I promise you, in telling her, but then she looked at me, because maybe she thought, like, I was trying to hurry her up, in my mind, I just was like, Psh, that sounds so mean, but honestly, it just depends on the person. If the person looks like they're having a bad day, and they don't want to be bothered, then I'll just say keep it moving but if the person seems down to earth then most definitely I would try to say it as chill as possible make her feel like she's my homegirl and I would probably whisper I'd be like you have lipstick on your teeth question number three you're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful and this is so easy it's my favorite lipstick from the drugstore wet n wild 911d spotlight red it's like the most worn lipstick on my channel and I also love sugar plum fairy it is such a gorgeous berry fuchsia with pink undertones with a little bit of red it's just so pretty question number four you go back in time for a day to your teenage years how would you do your hair and makeup differently? Oh my god, if only you guys would see my middle school, high school starting to look a little bit decent, my senior and junior year, but whoo, my mom and brothers find it to be hilarious to bring back my old photos and torment me with them just because I was seriously a hot mess. <laughs> from the town boy, the messed up foundations, the troubled acne skin. I mean, I still have acne now, but not as bad as before. I had braces. I mean, my hair was fried, lied, dyed, laid to the side. I mean, it was just a hot, hot mess. Question number five. You ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut. What is that? Put the hair wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave and call your mom hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward. Or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund. Uh, all the above. I mean, call me shallow. I know it's just hair. But that is like one of the main reasons I don't go to hairdressers and get my hair done. Just because hairdressers can be a little too scissor happy. And I love my long hair. I mean, there's a lot of girls now, especially African Export, Destiny Godly. There's so many of you beautiful women that can rock a short do, but I I don't think I could pull it off. What do you guys think? I mean, to answer the question, I don't think I would cry, but the hairdresser will definitely know that I'm mad just because I get this like mean face. <laughs> I would definitely call it my mom afterwards, possibly then cry. Call me shallow like I said, but hey, it's my hair. I didn't ask for a pixie cut. Question six. Your friend surprises you with a four day city break. Hey! And you have one hour to pack. Which do it all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? This is easy just because I've been obsessed with my Lorac Pro palettes. They're amazing. You get 16 colors, 8 matte, 8 shimmer. Still sticking with my word. I'll definitely have a few makeup looks using my Lorac palettes. I was originally going to say the Urban Decay Naked palette just because that was my first like real big time high-end palette but yeah the Lorac palette is where it's at. Question 7. Your house has been robbed. Don't worry. Everyone is safe but your beauty stash has been 
rate it. What? <laughs> What's the product you really hope is safe? I mean, if my house is getting rated, I don't think I would really care too much about my makeup. It would probably be more so my electronics, like my new MacBook that I just bought, my iPad, my camera. I mean, how would I film for you guys? This camera is so expensive. But I would have to say my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Just because, like I said, growing up, I jacked them all up, looking like Bozo the Clown. And I would definitely say my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow just because it gives my eyebrows life. I mean, the eyebrows frame the face, so without my eyebrows, I actually feel really self-conscious. So, I guess my eyebrows, even though it's only $18, I can just go buy more. I mean, who thought of that question? Question number eight. Your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same thing to theirs? C is just flat out awful. A, I mean, I'm not the type of person that would just pretend nothing happened, but B, I don't think I would have them repurchase it either. See, the thing is, I can be vocal. Sometimes I need to learn how to keep my mouth shut, but I'm very vocal when it comes to my stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just make it very vocal that this will be the last time you borrow or touch anything of mine again. Very simple. <laughs> so that is it. Did this tag make me seem really mean? I mean, I'm just being honest here. And I hope you guys played along in the comment section down below. Most importantly, if you enjoyed, thumbs it up, share with your friends. It helps me out with this channel. Hit the subscribe button for weekly videos, and I will see you all in my next one. Oh, this color is amazing. I love it. I really, really love it, you guys.